Hey Collective, welcome back to the channel everybody. If you're new here, I welcome you. We're going to do a love read for the lovers here, guys. The uh, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, New Soulmate Connections, whatever spirit wants to reveal. What are the messages concerning Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, or these soulmate connections what do they want to say what is it the universe would like to reveal what is this person saying to you or what do they want to tell you what's going on whatever information the universe wants to reveal here about this divine masculine divine feminine soulmate situation what's going on this could just resonate with soulmates as well guys new loves Divine masculine, divine feminine situations, spirit, soulmate connections. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it allows, simply allows and gives. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know you deserve to be and have all your heart truly desires twin flames what can i say soon to come your way all this love that is soon to come your way all your heart desires it's important right now to have take this step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another time to give to yourself Look deep within your heart and you'll feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So, <laughs> the choice is yours. I'm inclined to this one's. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So some of you are definitely not reconciling with your twin flames, but there is new love headed toward you. Now, no, it can also be your twin flame is returning. But there is definitely love that is headed your way. Some of you are like feeling like, you know, make decisions. Don't make decisions based on guilt of what you think you should do. Just because it's a twin flame union, the spirit is saying, you have to be true to yourself. So only you will know um, what you're deciding to do here when this person returns because it's looking like they are. They're going, my love for you is as deep as the ocean. Yeah, you've been in separation. But now it's time to express your love. Someone is coming forward. Go ahead, make the romantic gesture. Keep an open mind. It's safe for you to love. Trust. Get to know each other. So many of you are going to take some time out with each other. Now, you've been in separation, so only you know what you're going to do. Um, if you are not reconciling with your twin flame, there's someone new. So you're in separation. It was a lesson of codependency. They could be separating from someone who is codependent on them. Hmm. Religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing or your spiritual path. You're calling in your soulmate. Or they're calling you in playfulness again. 
So recapturing romance, allow, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine, let go of control issues. So this person who is with the karmic they're in separation it's looking like there's too many control issues codependency religious factors could be age differences or just too many differences period to keep it going it's looking like you're they're calling you in or you're calling them in they want to recapture this romance some of you will get to know this person again and see what they're all about. Others of you are calling in a brand new soulmate. Mm -hmm. Healing family issues. It's been worth waiting for. Yeah. So this person has freed themselves. Some of you are waiting for new love. It's on its way. Now that could be reconciling of this love as well. But a new, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. It, there is new love entering. You're attracting new love. Calling in a soulmate or they're calling you in. Stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah. So now there might be children involved in this situation. There could be separating from this karmic energy because of a control issue about the children. And there is reconciling here. Uh, someone from your past is returning to your life very soon clearly decide what you want because it's coming in you've released your ex a lot of you but you deserve love you're lovable your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so there's too many red flags going on here. I'm seeing that the karmic and this person are not doing well. There are too many factors involved here. And now your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There is reconciliation here for those of you who want it. And it's going to be a higher level of commitment. Others of you, it's new love entering and it'll be your choice what you decide. It involves a wedding. <laughs> so just saying, it's true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So even if it's new love, guys, it could be a past life relationship or someone from your childhood or someone from your past. You've already met them in this lifetime or another. And if you are reconciling, it is the one. Heart heart conversations are going to be half. Over here, it's unrequited love. And you may give your relationship a chance. There is a honeymoon here. It says this person could have been a flirt and deceptive. All they were in for was passion. They're, a soulmate is going to make the effort here. Yes, this is your soulmate who did this to you. Now they got finances, career, whatever, all that. It's a past life relationship going on here let your friends help you there are romantic feelings but love yourself first there's a strong chemistry here for that reason it is a soulmate even if it's not your divine masculine or divine feminine there is a new love that's entering your life and it's your decision it's your choice whether you want to reconcile or whether you want new love <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Divine masculine, divine feminine, karmic energies, what's going on? Well, we know what's going on. Tell me 
learning more about this situation, Spirit? Mm, this one wants to talk. Yeah. Careful what you reflect at this time. Ooh. Three of Swords? Why is this just weirded me out, guys? That wanted to appear, so I'm taking it. They want to return. They want to ask your forgiveness, and it is going to be your choice. They see this happiness with you. It is the Emperor who wants to travel toward you. They can't sleep without you. You're like, mm, going for a leap of faith. There was deception. There's no question about it, but they're missing you. Hmm. Somehow, I think that they did something weird. They tried to dominate you or something like that. It was a deception that they did so they could g obtain control over you somehow. They wanted to dominate you. That's why the deception. They wanted to dominate you. They wanted you to feel like they were in control. And the sad truth is, they aren't. They're missing you. They're twin flame. They want to return. Okay? Hmm. I think this karmic energy got busted wide open. I'm telling you, they were caught in the act doing something. Person came home, saw them up to no good. They're like, got no clothes on and drinking their face off. So I think they were caught cheating. So the cheater got cheated on. That's what it's looking like. And you're over here being the empress. Yeah, see what's this all about? Yeah, there was options. The karmic had options. They came home as spying. They suspected that they were watching the karmic. And they actually <coughs> caught them in the act. Having sex with someone else. So now they're single. And want to come back. Just still tied to you. Energetically, they're still tied to you. You are their wish fulfillment. And now they want to, like, the world is here. They want this new cycle with you. Uh, whatever. Hmm. There's the Hierophant here, guys. So this is commitment. It's like they were torn between who they wanted to commit to. Well... Now they're seeing you as their twin flame. They're seeing uh, that they want a passionate new start with you. There's, that's your energy. They think the world of you. You're the empress in all these pictures. That is not the empress in those pictures. Okay? They know how loving and nurturing you are. And it's like they tried to juggle you. But they want a new opportunity with you. Just saying, and if you're not entertaining them, I'm saying someone is calling you in. They're longing for you. Whether it's new love, it's a both here. Reconciliations and new love. It's going to be your choice. But someone is calling you in. They're longing for you. You're going to have to trust your intuition on this one. Because they're stuck on you. <laughs> they see you as empowered. They've seen and they're coming in wounded. I just saying. Oh, there is no new beginning over here. See? was a lie. They were believing a lie. The karmic was trying to dominate them and this person likes to be the one who is like thought they were in control but it's there's no new beginning over there. They got memories of love toward you. That's the six of cups. They're, that situation has ended and it ended in a lie. 
Okay, they were caught. The karmic was caught red-handed. Or maybe your person was, but it's looking like the karmic. So let's see what's going on. And now they've got these, they're looking at your photographs and they're like wanting you back and they're in a, they think you're beautiful and they want to come in and make an offer. Mm. Four swords, something has ended there. Told you they were caught in the act. The, uh, the karmic had two lovers. Or maybe more for all I know. But they were. Who cares. It's not wish fulfillment there. It's not their dream. Their dream is that they're missing you. Okay. They're missing you. And they're going to get down on their knees. And like try. To seek your forgiveness here. Hmm. They're traveling light. They got the their bag with them so they want to reunite i'm telling you right now they want to fight for this now they want you back they admire you and it's like they're gonna tell you that this person was basically a piece of ass okay that's what they're gonna tell you but they're committed to you they're passionate. What? They're going to show you who, who they really are. They're not hiding anything. Hmm. They're going to tell you that they've exposed the karmic. They were betrayed. And they caught them. That's why they're alone. They caught the karmic. Um cheating on them and all they can do is think about you they want to show you everything about them they want to like they're passionate about you i don't know they want to tell you something about They want to tell you something about I don't understand this card to be actually honest with you there are two masculines and two feminines on the beach both naked looks like they're getting romantic one is looking into a mirror only seeing themselves and the other one is like had the cup of love so it's like reflections they're thinking how they're comparing they're like showing the karmic how they only saw themselves and that they admired themselves and they're looking at you and you're like you know loving and caring you hold a cup of love so they want to sweep you off your feet they know you're the only one that can tame them and it's like they want to communicate they're they're going for it. They're coming in, guys. They want to put in the work. Mm. Oh, what are they saying here? That they only have eyes for you? Cupid's arrow has struck them. And it's like they're telling you Here's, yeah, they want to pin you down. They know how temperate you are. They know how patient and tolerant you are, how balanced and stable you are, and they love you. You're their wish fulfillment. They want to marry you. They're writing out a letter, but on what they want to tell you is they want to marry you. It's weighing heavily on them. They can't stop thinking about you. Hmm. They want to tell you that I th that's not their energy. So this other 
lover that they had, it's like they were sneaking out on them and that they're in love with you. They want to tell you that um, this devil energy, they want to tell you something about... Now, there's multiple partners here, guys. I'm, that's what they want to tell you. Now, they may have had unprotected sex, guys. So I'd be cautious. They want to tell you they're in love with you, but they were having unprotected sex. It's right in the card here. There are multiple partners. That's what they want to tell you about the karmic, that the karmic was dealing with multiple partners. But I'm pretty sure your person was as well. They want to make things fair and they are calling you in. They... They want to work on it and it's like they're afraid you're going to reject them and the tower is going to hit because they are under judgment but here they are sitting here in love with you commitment is on their mind and love and it's going to be your decision you've got your choice of two Collective, you've got your choice of two. So it's almost like it's going to be your decision. Don't do anything that you feel obligated to do. Go with your heart and what you think that you should do, not what this person might try to pressure you, you know, make you feel a little vulnerable and because they truly miss you and want you back. They don't have an ulterior motive. But I can tell you that they were doing some nasty stuff. So I'd be cautious at the very minimum. Um, they were having unprotected sex with several lovers. And it's here. The karmic was and so was your person. So I'd be extremely, extremely cautious. Um... They're like going to be open. They're going to expose themselves. But make sure you're hearing the whole story spirit saying. Take time. Be friends. If you even are going to um, have anything to do with them, make sure you start out as friends and do not rush in until you know all the situation that's really been going on and then you can make a conscious decision that's going to be good for your own life. Don't you worry about what this person wants whatsoever. Worry what's good for you. At this time, collective, that's what it's showing. It's showing the karmic and them in separation. It's showing that the karmic was caught with other lovers, although your person was entertaining other lovers. Okay, it's like... They wanted to control you, Collective. They wanted control over you. Whether they admit that or not, they did. They saw you as strong and powerful and they wanted to dominate. So they figured if they were going to entertain other lovers, that you would weaken and all it did is make you stronger. You got stronger. But that was the game. Take care, beautifuls. Have a wonderful day.